Yeah, just um, good uh, inner city rivalry, you know, inner city uh, game with a lot at stake. You know, two uh, two programs trying to trying to rise up and uh, trying to get their first postseason win ever. And uh, you know, it was hard for a game, hard for a game with uh, a lot of things in uh, in place and a lot of things at stake. Uh, but I'm really proud of the way my guys battled uh, in the second half because we knew it was going to be a surge. We knew they were going to surge in the second half, and um, we were going to get a better effort from them and a lot more defensive intensity, which got us rattled a little bit. But um, you know, we got ourselves together when it mattered, and and we made free throws down the stretch, which is what we try to do, and um, then we pulled out a good victory. Nice, nice to make a little history with the first win and yeah, yeah. Around from that from last Absolutely, Fred. And, and you know, to bounce back from the the, the, the gut wrenching Green Bay loss, you know, I mean that was a difficult game to lose and uh, you know, just seeing the emotion from these guys, especially this guy to my right, you know, after that Green Bay loss. And um, you know, that was that was tough to see. I was just praying and hoping that uh, these young men would get another opportunity to go out and battle together. You know, because they'll hopefully go on and play somewhere, you know, after college and get that opportunity. But, you know, this group of brothers have really come together, uh, you know, for, um, you know, uh, 27 games. And, and now they're uh, oh, 37 games almost, and uh, it seems like. And, and get an opportunity to, uh, to, to do, get some things done together. It seemed like you guys were able to find some jumpers, not necessarily on the fast break, but in transition. Um, typically, you guys grind out games. Yeah. That all something you look at on film. Well, we we knew we can push the ball, you know, because uh, at times, sometimes they're you know they're scrambling a little bit because they put so much pressure on you up in the um, in the uh, the backcourt that we knew once we got it down to the front court we would have some opportunities. And we know Danny is a good you know three point shooter in transition. Um, you know we know uh, Mark can penetrate and and really um, you know get it to the paint off of, uh, you know, a catch in, in transition as well. And then Josh is, you know, just taking up so much, um, you know, uh, s uh, space inside. So, you know, we knew we could get some opportunities. We knew it was going to be a high possession game because that's the way they want to play it. Uh, and we've played that way before. You know, we just needed to have a little bit more poise in key situations, and uh, we were able to have that. Daniel, uh, what's it like to kind of get the bad taste out of your mouth uh, from the Green Bay game, and regardless of what happens going uh, forward in the next it's a it's a it's a great feeling, you know, to be able to play one more time, you know, at home, and get rid of that, like Coach said, that bad taste out of our mouth, because it was it was a tough way to lose at, at at Valpo, and but it's over with, you know, we just uh, made history here at UIC, and uh, just going to continue on and win some more ball games. What's it like not knowing who you're going to play next? Right? <laughs> where, where are you? We've been in the unknown since that Green Bay game a lot, Fred. So, you know, but that's, that's fine. I think the thing is that's been good for us is that we just focus on ourselves. You know, we've really been, you know, doing a little bit of um, self-analysis, uh, self-improvement, uh, making sure that we're doing what we need to do to stay sharp and stay ready. And I'm really proud of the way these guys approach this 12-day stretch of not playing games. You know, they, they got in, they got their work done, and then they went home and, you know, took care of school. But they were really sharp when they were in here. You know, we try to keep it loose because, you know, hey, this is fun. This is – a lot of people are at home watching games on TV. But we're still practicing. We're still working on our game, and we're still working as a group and a unit. And that's fun, and it's special. And I want these guys to embrace this and always remember these times because they're not promised to you. And hopefully these young guys will see this as opportunities that, you know, we need to expect to be playing in March moving forward. And that's the goal. At times it got kind of chippy out there. And, uh, yeah. How difficult was it for you guys It wasn't really difficult, you know. Uh, we just got our guys together and just told them, you know, it's going to be a grinder game and it's going to be chippy because – South side, you know, come over here and just want to play basketball. And it's going to have, it was, it was fun, you know, at the end of the day. And then yeah, that's pretty much really it, really. It was just fun. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we knew they were going to make a run, but if we was able to withstand their run, we knew we would be able to hit them again with our run, and luckily we did, and uh, they couldn't withstand it at the end.